Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tableau is a useful analytics and data visualization tool. Today I want to talk about another useful Tableau technique. I would like to show you how you can create custom table headers in Tableau. Here in this dashboard, I have created a table to show a set of metrics, including the total order quantity, total sales amount, profit amount, percent discount and profit margin by region and department. Some of the table headers, as you can see here, are highlighted using different colors. Creating custom table headers in Tableau is not hard, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Superstore dataset. In the blank sheet, I need to create a cross table to show the set of metrics by region and department. Go to the dimension section and drop region and department to the rows card. Also drop measure names to the columns card. In the measure section, drop measure values to text under the marks card. Edit the measure values to make sure you only select the set of metrics you are interested in, including order quantity, sales amount, profit amount, discount rate, and profit margin. You can further make adjustments to the sequence of these fields and make additional formatting changes as well. Remember, we said that we would like to highlight the metrics names in this table. However, with this cross-tab view, the issue is that you cannot highlight any specific field names directly. To do that, you will need to create another calculated field. In the measures section, as you can see, I already created a field called zero. You can also give this field a different name of your choice. Inside a calculation, I apply the min function to zero and hit OK. Once done, you need to drag and drop this field to the column section and repeat n times, where n is the total number of fields you would like to have in this table. For example, right now I have a total of seven fields. This means I will need to drop the zero field to the column section seven times. Now let's do that. Go to another blank sheet and drop the zero field to the column section seven times. All right. Now I want to make sure I hide the access headers. Right click the access and then unselect show headers. You can see I have created seven empty cells. Now I want to add field names to each of these empty cells. You need to create another calculated field. I call this field placeholder. Inside this calculation, I will simply put an empty string with double quotes around it. Go to the all marks card and drop the placeholder field under the text mark. Now this field will appear under each of the fields text mark. Because I originally created an empty string of this field, so even after you drop the placeholder field to the text mark, the column name is still empty. You need to edit the placeholder field name and give it another name. For example, I want my first column to be region, so I want to double click the placeholder field and rename it to be region. Please note, you will need to put a single or double quote around region to make sure that Tableau will treat it as a string rather than an existing dimension or metric in your data set. Now edit the text color and make it black and bold. Next is department. So I will repeat the same process. Go to the second field mark, double click placeholder, rename it to department with double quotes. Edit color to be 
bold and black. Okay, you will need to do this for all the remaining fields and then you will get the field names for each of the empty cells. Now comes the interesting part. Once you give each of the field a proper column name, you can go to each of the zero marks card and change the background color. For example, I want to assign color orange to the order quantity field. Go to the field mark and hit the color mark. Change the color to orange. For sales and profit columns, I want to give it a color of green. Change the color to green. For discount and profit margin, I will change the color to blue. Okay, I have my custom table headers. Now I want to go back to my original table and hide the column headers there. In this table, click region and choose hide field labels for rows. For metric, click measure names and unselect show header. Now we can create a dashboard that combines this table with the new custom column headers. As you can see in this dashboard, I have the same table and now it is using the custom table headers that we just created. In my other video, I have also talked about how you can conditionally highlight the rows inside the table with different colors based on identified criteria. I will also put the link to the other video in the description box below. In this dashboard, as you can see, when you combine both custom table headers with conditional table highlights, you can actually develop dashboards and use them in important presentations to highlight the key business performance indicators and also dynamically change your table highlights. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.